stay tuned and let's take a look at this G.I. Joe classified series, Python Patrol, Cobra Viper. Pow and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe classified series, Python Patrol, Cobra Viper. Now, this is, of course, a straight up repaint of the Cobra Island Cobra Viper that we've got recently. However, it's a repaint that makes a lot of sense because both of these versions of the Cobra Viper were originally released with G.I. Joe's back in the late 80s. Obviously, everyone's mind's eye version of the Cobra Viper will probably always be the blue and red version, but they did repaint that several times. And one of the sublines they did was Python Patrol, where they repainted to this new grey and yellow colour palette, but they use the exact same mould. So I believe that is exactly what the classified series has done to, again, tribute those original figures. So again, it's a repaint that does make sense within the lore, within the history of G.I. Joe. So obviously in this video, we'll do a comparison, but I do think they are basically just a repaint of each other. In the box, the only differences are, is that this one comes with the scarf around the neck. This one doesn't. And also the uh, sort of ammo uh, is out of the package in here and uh, next to the gun just to make it look like an extra accessory. But basically that ammo stat, that clip was always in that gun anyway. Both of them come with the bags exactly the same, just different paints, of course. So uh, again, we will do a straight up comparison, but just looking at them in the box, they do look like the exact same figure, but just redeco. So of course we've got our Cobra Island, RIP, and now we've got the new Python Patrol, which again, I believe in the US is unfortunately a Target exclusive. So I wish my American friends luck trying to track these guys down, but they have started to appear in the UK. So that is how I got mine. I got mine from Hasbro Pulse UK. No secret, they're just in stock. So there you go, Python Patrol, the first Python Patrol figure I have. So again, looking at the packaging, it's basically the same artwork, just with the redeco in the colors. We've got the Python Patrol logo, Cobra Viper. This is number 42, there you go, 42. Used the website you can find out what all of that means on the back cobra viper uh, python patrol doesn't really have a lot on the back no cross sale no little island just a zoom in of a jungle unfortunately I, they should really do cross sale on the back of these and then again that picture which i think we're going to get in that viper free pack as well but without further ado let's get it open here we have the python patrol cobra viper out of the packaging with all of his accessories laid out on the table so you can see exactly what he comes packed with but as i mentioned previously it's basically the same stuff that came with the other cobra viper just now without the scarf and things have been redecoed including the goggles and the backpack and then he's also got some weaponry. We've got a nice handgun that will fit in the holster. And then a bigger rifle that actually comes with a clip separately to make it look like a separate accessory. But it was the same clip uh, that came with the previous one. You now just have to load it yourself. So there you go, loaded up, ready to go. So let's put the rest of his gear back on and we'll do some comparisons with that original release. Because I told you it is an official version of the previous Python Patrol. Disclaimer, obviously this comparison isn't to scale because that is of course the original G.I. Joe that was released in 1989. One of many repaints of the Cobra Viper. This is of course the grey and yellow Python Patrol, which was a subline way back then that the classified series are obviously bringing back. And other characters got that same treatment, but here we have the Cobra Viper in the yellow and grey, which looks really nice with the crisscross pattern. Now comparing the two, the a pretty good job bringing the Cobra Viper into the modern era. It's just that on the original releases, they actually had the sort of sleeves rolled up on the arms. And remember, you can technically do that with these figures if you take off those wrist gauntlets. You're going to have to heat them up because they may be glued. I'm not too sure, but they do come off as I did it with one of my Vipers. And you can get that more classic sleeve rolled up look, but you will be without the gauntlets. I was going to save this comparison until the end, but I guess it makes more sense to show you now. So here we have both our classified series Cobra Vipers. We have our Python Patrol and our Cobra 
Island. Now, obviously, the Cobra Island is your more classic, original Cobra Viper with the red and the blue. But the Python Patrol, as I've already mentioned, was an official subline, one of the very first redecos of the Cobra Viper. And comparing them now, they are the exact same figure. From head to toe, I cannot see any sculptural differences. The only differences are in the deco, in the color palette. So there you go, side by side, they are the same figure. Chest pieces are the same, the same gear, the same backpack, the same weapons, same goggles, but obviously the Python Patrol has the red lenses. Of course, the helmets are the same, but you've got this more chrome silver lens on the original Cobra Viper. Uh, and of course, that has the neckerchief. Uh, the Python Patrol version doesn't come with a neck piece, but if you wanted to, you could swap it over and do that with your Python Patrol, no problem. But bringing them back around to the table, I wanted to bring in one of them uh, Cobra Vipers that I modded, talking about rolling up the sleeves to create that more classic looking, true to its original form in G.I. Joe. You can have a sleeves rolled up version of your Cobra Viper by heating up and peeling off the gauntlets because under those gauntlets, you've got those bare skin arms because it is the same arms they used on Duke. So that's what I've done here with this Cobra Viper. I had a sneak peek of the Python Patrol and it is skin tone under those gauntlets as well. So heat them up, peel them up, off and you could have a rolled up sleeve version of your Python Patrol Cobra Viper if you wanted to. So again, mix and match accessories if you really wanted to and it is nice to have a little bit of variety in your army builders. So there you go, straight up comparison of your two Cobra Vipers. But let's just take one closer look at this guy anyway. Starting up top, of course, the helmet visors are now a different color. Instead of the chrome, you've gone for a more candy chrome red. Uh, it also matches the new red lenses of the goggles, which are a separate piece that's set on top of the helmet. But of course, you can take them off and have no goggles on at all. Again, a little bit of variety in the display. It's not a bad thing. And they, they're very loose on the head anyway. Like if you turn this upside down, they will fall off. You can sort of pull them down a little bit, but it will just stretch the plastic. So a little bit fiddly. I do wish they'd attach a little bit better. But anyway, the goggles on the helmet, it no problem on the back there you go there's the the backpack with the new color scheme it plugs on and for some reason these ones plug on so much easier than the original cobra vipers i don't know if they've done any modding behind the jacket uh, but it definitely just finds the hole no problem at all not like i have problem in real life but you know what i mean there you go on the front we've got the cobra logo just sort of decal there it's not on any sculpted but we've got the all the sculpted detail on the front the cobra logo there now in yellow uh just yellow plastic but again the grays the yellows i really like the crisscross pattern on the arms uh, on the shoulders on the arms and again there is skin tone under here so if you wanted to warm these up peel them off there is skin tone so you can have the rolled up sleeve look same on both hands. Trigger fingers on both hands, of course, no interchangeable hands. You've got the up and down sort of hinge on this hand and then the side to side on this hand as well. So you do have different hinges. Moving down to the legs, you've got the gun holster with the gun on there, no problem at all. And then moving down, you've got all the pouches and then you've got the knees and then the boots, which are, I think they were originally unique to the Cobra Viper in the first place, but there you go, looking good. I like the yellow against the gray. Always like that sort of color scheme, sort of black and yellow gray. Got a rope up there, some more canisters, etc. But there you go. There's your closer look. And again, they are, let me zoom out, holding them side by side. They're the same figure, people. It just looks different because this one's got the scarf and, and the different color. But that's the same figure all the way around. I promise you, exactly the same. But it's an official repaint. Like, the, the Python Patrol was a legit thing. Uh, so the guns obviously can be held no problem at all, like so. And there's also a little hole there at the front of the gun for a muzzle flash, which is a nice touch. Hopefully we get more of them. I know we're gonna get some in that Viper free pack later this year. But yeah, thanks to the great articulation, he poses up really nice. You've got the butterfly joints at the shoulder, bicep swivel, nice double jointed elbow. Still got the pins, unfortunately, but we forgive it. You've got the, the nice joints on the wrists, ball joint at the waist, that's where the swivel is, as well as an ab crunch. You've got the swivel up here at the thigh, drop down hips as well, double jointed knees, uh, you've got the boot swivel and ankle pivot and rocker. So yeah, I don't need to show you the articulation. It's basically the same as this guy. So I'm assuming if you brought the Python Patrol, you've probably already got these, but you never know. As a kid, some people may have only had these versions. So uh, it's always nice to get a bit of variety on the shelf. But there you go, there is our Python Patrol Cobra Vipers. And yes, Valorverse Action Force muzzle flashes also work with G.I. Joe. So if you've got any of those weapons packs, then there you go, go crazy because it just makes such a difference to the display. Look at that. 
let's move into some comparisons. And one last time, let's look at both versions of the classified series Cobra Vipers. You let me know in the comments below, how many do you need in your army? How many Cobra Vipers do you currently have? And how many Python patrols are you gonna be buying to add to the ranks? Here we have some battle android troopers, aka the bats of course, and yes, I already have the python patrol bats that I will be reviewing on the channel, so hit that subscribe button as that will be next. Here we have some cobra infantry, shout out Mark Tac Tac. Continuing the army builder theme, here we have some alley vipers. Here we have genuinely one of my favorite G.I. Joe classified figures, it is of course the tiger force, Outback. Go and check out my full review on the channel right now because that figure is not one you want to miss. Here we have Cobra Commander Supreme and Deathstro bringing some ninjas into the mix. Here we got the Cobra Red Ninjas and of course Snake Eyes. Bringing in some Joes, here we have Duke and Scarlet, the redecoed versions. And remember, Duke and the Cobra Vipers share the same arm. So if you heat up, remove the gauntlets, you can have the more sleeved classic look. For some taller characters, here we have Gung Ho and Roblox and his massive oversized gun. Here we have some Action Force comparisons with Steel Brigade and Sergeant Slaughter, or for my UK friends, Sergeant Slammer. Some more Action Force that share the same yellow colour palette, it is of course the Swarm. And it isn't Dan who reviews without some Marvel Legends, so here we have the 20th anniversary, Captain America and Iron Man. Of course, here we have the Who Crew Frogman and Tigra. Last, but certainly not least, here we have Captain Britain and Hal, Fire, Hank. So, final thoughts on this G.I. Joe classified series, Python Patrol, Cobra, Viper. Now, I've already said in the review, I actually prefer this yellow and grey colour palette. However, my mind's eye of the Vipers will always be the red and the blue. However, it's nice to have a bit of variety for the collection. And I'm not mad at Hasbro because, yes, even though this is a repaint, it's a repaint that makes sense to the canon, to the lore of G.I. Joe's. You can go and check the record books yourself. The Viper got many a repaint even back in the day. So, it's nice to have some alternative versions for our classified series because not everybody had the same figures as a kid. Someone grown up may have only had this Python Patrol version of the Viper and that may be their mind's eye. So it's nice to have some options and some variety for the collection. And this Viper is a great figure no matter what colour you put it in. And I guarantee we're going to get another repaint down the line. It's inevitable. But you let me know how many of these Python Patrol Cobra Vipers you are adding to your collection. Always curious. And if you like hearing some G.I. Joe classified talk here on the channel, then go and check out my live stream dedicated to just that. It's called Joes and Juice. We go live sporadically talking about all the G.I. Joe classified news and military action force, all that good stuff. I'll put the link to the latest episode in the description. But go and check that out. Some long form content for you. But as always, if you like the reviews and you're in the right place, check out the videos tab, find the playlists. But most importantly, please, 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 Hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciate. You can also hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well. Tweet me, don't be shy, at Dan Who Reviews. And until then, people, my name is Dan W. And I would, of course, see you on the next one.